Hey girls, I just got back from the library and I wanted to share one of the books that I got. It's called The Pink Hat. The Pink Hat by Andrew Joyner. Do you have hats? Do you have a pink hat? Let's check it out. First, there wasn't a hat. And some nice looking people, a little kitty in the window. Another lady or person, and there's somebody with a violin. What sound does a violin make? It's kind of a high sound, isn't it? Then, there was. Oh, that's right. On the last page it said first there wasn't a hat, then there was. Because this person, look, they're using two needles, so it's called knitting. Oh, look at her. She's wearing it on her head. And her bag is empty. It was a pink hat. A cozy pink hat. <laughs> She's taking a picture of herself with it and sharing it with her friends, using it with a teapot, using it to keep her feet warm. Hats don't belong on feet. What a silly lady. That is until a cat grabbed the hat. It was a fun hat. A fun pink hat. That is until... Some children found the hat. It was a hard to reach hat. A hard to reach pink hat. Oh look, they're working together to get the get it out of the tree. They could have also just asked the adult, but I guess that was not really part of the question. Until or sorry, that is until a baby caught the hat. Oh look. There's a grown up. And a baby with a pink hat and another kid. It was a warm hat. Oh, the baby's wearing it as like a, a snuggie or something. A warm pink hat. That is until, oh, we know where this is going. Brother's running off on accident and mom is nervous and baby's sad and the pink hat is on the ground. A dog swiped the hat. I know that you have a dog. Do you like dogs? What sound does a dog make? Woof, woof. It was a speedy hat. Oh, my goodness. This girl is chasing, or this person with pigtails is chasing uh, the dog with a hat. And look at, look, the with the drawing, it's trying to tell us that the dog went around the tree and over the man with that hat and... Uh, around and around and around those person and around that statue and around that person on the skateboard and around that person on the bike and then whoo that is until a girl saved the hat oh cool and took it home it looks like she also took the dog home maybe the dog is her dog let's hope that that's the case and they're riding a bus what songs do we know that have buses in them? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. I wonder what the verse for this girl would be. It'd be like, the girl on the bus goes hoo hoo hoo, hoo hoo hoo, hoo hoo hoo. The girl on the bus goes hoo hoo hoo. I've got a hat. Something like that. The girl washed the hat. Ooh, that's so smart. And dried the hat. She rang it out. I guess maybe this is a wool hat and you don't want to put it in the dryer, but we'll see. And then she wore the hat. And her dog is keeping her company. Oh, is, wait, is this the same girl with the violin? She wore it again. And again. Oh, she's using it as a baseball mitt. And again. And a swimming cap. And again. And again. Oh, a boxing glove. <laughs> a little basket for some leaves when she's raking in the fall. A little carrying case for her paintbrushes, maybe? Oh, and she's wearing it as a blindfold. That's a little bit dangerous, but it looks like she survived. Oh, look at her room. Doesn't that look nice? The 21st of January. And the hat's on the corner of the bed. That is until 
Ooh, I know where this is going. You might not because this is an important moment that happened before you were born. She wore her pink hat. Look at all of these women wearing pink hats. Yeah. Go, girls. And everyone else wore one, too. Hear our voice. Think pink. The little girl's sign says, girl power. And this person says, women's rights are human rights. And this one says, love and hope. And this one says, we the people. Oh, she's wearing a pink hijab. The future is feminist. Yeah. Awesome. All these people came together to celebrate girls and women. Oh, and that, I guess, is the end. Uh, there's a little bit here that's like, you know, talking about what happened. On January 21st, 2017, an estimated 5 million women, men, and children marched in 82 countries on all seven continents. The event was called the Women's March, and it was one of the largest political demonstrations in history. This joyous and peaceful protest united people and communities behind one simple message. Women's rights are human rights. And there's the dog wearing the hat. Yeah, for all the women who marched us forward. And for Kirsten, Lee, and Beck with love and gratitude. I bet those are people related to Andrew Joyner. Well, that was a really great book. Thanks for reading with me. That's just one example of the great books that you can find at your local library. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.